Hello and welcome to Pharmacode. My name is Raphael. In today's video, we would be building an ovulation calculator using Python. The number of reasons why we like to know an ovulation date um, for people who are trying to get pregnant, it is particularly important for them. And as a health personnel, if you probably work in like a fertility clinic, you would want to be able to quickly calculate the ovulation date of a woman so you can make the best chances of getting pregnant or performing certain medical procedures. And let's get right into it. So in our script, we would like to as usual, receive inputs, process as input, and display the results to the user. So on our Python script, let's define our main function. In our main function, we're going to be doing stuff. And then we also want to ensure that this script only runs when it is called directly. Okay, and then we'll call our main function. Okay. So we would like to display the title of our calculator and the instruction on how to use it. So we use the print methods to handle this. So we'll say this is an ovulation calculator. We also would like to print the instructions you would say impute the first date of us menstrual cycle and um, cycle length. Okay to get the ovulation date. So we want to take we want to receive two inputs from the user. We want them to impute the first day of their less menstrual period. And then the length the cycle the length of their menstrual cycle and then once we get this we should be able to estimate what the ovulation date should be. Okay. So I like to look at reference materials and um, according to mayoniclinic.org and tons of reference materials out there, ovulation is generally set to occur 14 days before the start of the next menstrual period. So if we know from, um, from reference materials that ovulation is going to start 14 days before the next period, so when, when we as long as we know the first date and the length of the period, then we should be able to estimate what the, the ovulation day would be. So let's get our inputs from the user. So we're going to take our LNP as inputs from the user. So the first date of last menstrual period. And then we want them to input in, in, in a specific format. So it's going to be day, month, and year. Okay. We also want to receive the cycle length in days. So we're going to ask for that as well. Days okay, so like we know, all of these are going to come in strings, so we need to convert them into the date formats. So I need the date time, I'm going to import it so we can do something like date time. 
we want to pass this so we're going to use string p time the lmp value in this format we're expecting it to be in day month and year so now this should convert at string into date and then for cycle we're expecting them to input the date so int should be able to convert this and now that we have a uh, LMP, last menstrual period, and cycle in the right formats. Just adding some comments here. Seven inputs. We've um, converted the right inputs. Now we now we want to calculate the ovulation date. Okay, so we know we want to do 14 days from, we want to calculate 14 days from, from, this, from the cycle, right? So what we want to do is to subtract um, 14 days from the cycle because we know we, it, um, the evolution date is going to be 14 days before the next menstrual cycle. So we're going to do something like this. Um, our estimated ovulation day is meant to be 14 days before the next cycle. So once we take 14 days from this, that means that should be the day when ovulation should take place. So um, we can then see when we then we can then calculate the um, the time delta. So, ovulation day um, where we have this as our estimated ovulation day. So, this is going to give us a time difference that we can work with our day time. And then, once we have our ovulation day in day time delta format, then basically our uh, ovulation dates would be the LNP plus the ovulation day time delta and then we can print the results so let's say ovulation dates this time should be the LMP plus number of these, right? So we have this here. We want to format our string, string F time to this format. There are a number of formats that you could use. You just need to look it up. What format pleases you? Okay, so let me run through this real quick. We receive our last menstrual cycle, we receive the cycle of days. We know from theory that the ovulation date is 14 days before the next cycle. So if we take away 14 days from the cycle length, we should have our estimation of ovulation date. So once we have our estimated ovulation date, we convert that into a time delta that we can work with. And then we add that date to our last menstrual date and then that should give us our ovulation date. So let's run this and see if there are any errors. Okay, so I have a syntax error here. Okay, so I have a syntax error here. I should declare a main function properly. And then let's run this. Okay, so we have our title, ovulation calculator, input the first date of the last menstrual period and the cycle length to get the ovulation date. So it's going to put the first date of the last menstrual cycle in this date format. So I'm going to use the first day of the year. So 01 of January 2023. And then the cycle days, um, 28 seems to be the general average. So I'm going to put 28. And then we have the ovulation date, which is the 15th of January 2023. So what this does is it takes the cycle length 28 subtracts 14 from it so we know that the ovulation should happen on the 14 on 14 days before the next one 
and then we add it to this so it means on the 15th day of or the 15th day of january 2023 ovulation should occur so this looks good we're going to be doing a couple of cleanups here i think this is too long so we can remove some of this text um, I always like to separate the business logic into a separate function. So I'm going to define a function called um, calculate ovulation dates. Okay, and we need to pass in the LMP and the cycle. Okay, so we can practically move this logic here and then we want to return the ovulation dates. Okay, so we can then say ovulation date is equal to our method with our arguments and then so LNP comes here circle comes here ovulation date is equal to this function which returns ovulation date and then yeah this looks clean and this method can be tested okay so let's save this and let's run this Compute the first day of the year yeah that looks good so another thing we like to do is um, we like to clean up this. We like to sanitize the user inputs to be sure there are no errors and we handle all errors properly. So like to find a function called convert to date. We take in the value and then we try to run this conversion, right? So we're gonna put this in a try catch block. We're going to try to run this to convert the value, which is a string, into the date time. If it fails, we catch the exception and then we print an error message. So we say invalid date. Let's input the date in the correct format. We also want to graciously stop the script so i'm going to import sys and then we can do sys.exit here okay so now we can use this method to convert our lmp to the date format we basically can duplicate this as well and call this convert to int. But the only thing we're going to be doing here is return this int format. And then for this, we're going to say input invalid uh, invalid input. Please input a valid <laughs> a valid number of these. Okay, so uh, we need to call this method here. Oh, Okay, so I had an error because I wasn't using the right string, the right argument variable in my conversions. So now that I have this, this looks right, I should be able to run this now. So the first of LNP, let's put 11.3. And then the length of the circle, let's just run it this. And now we have the valid ovulation date. So now let's try to impute wrong values. 
let's see, use 23, 23, 23, and that is it, invalidate, okay, and let's try to use this. Yes. Invalid inviews, please input the value number of this. Okay, so that looks right. So let's try to run our calculator one last time with some other random dates. So let's see today's date and a 30 day cycle. So here we see that for today's date, for a 30 day cycle. The relation is going to be the third day of February 2023. That looks right. Okay, um, I hope you you enjoyed working through my thoughts as I built this evolution calculator. Let me know how you would have done it as a Python developer. Um, like I do say, I don't work with Python every day, but I just I use Python for um, random personal tasks. So let me know how you would have done it if you were using Python. And um, yeah, see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this. Odabo, bye, au revoir.